Thank you for, for uh, the invitation, invitation. and uh, I'm uh, uh, glad to be here in this uh, wonderful city of Lisbon. And um, the idea is, uh, in this talk, I'll try and uh, give you a sort of high-level view of the challenges in robotics that we are facing. Um, our lab is involved in a bit, bit more in depth about a couple of problems, especially in the domain of variable impedance actuation. So this is uh, a domain where our lab is, is well known for in terms of taking um, variable impedance uh, capabilities and optimizing over that uh, for various tasks, everything from sort of walking bipedal robots to, uh, to prosthetics. So um, the topic of today's talk is, is shared autonomy for robotics, and uh, possibly by halfway through the the, the actual talk, you'll probably realize uh, why shared autonomy as opposed to fully autonomous systems. So you've had uh, some um, keynote speakers earlier talking about the importance of, of uh, creating technology for autonomous driving, autonomous flying. Um, I think that is very important, but at the same time, um, getting humans in the loop and, and sort of solving the challenge of allowing humans in the loop while still uh, so tuning the level of autonomy is very, very important. So let me start by giving you a, a slightly high-level vision, uh, a, con a, a bit of a moonshot, um, and I alluded to that uh, yesterday at the, at the panel. Uh, so this is a project that we have um, initiated. It, it's been almost a couple of years. All these projects with NASA take a long time for before it comes to fruition. Um, but in, in earnest, uh, the actual uh, project started at the beginning of the year, and this was about, um, so there's a vision um, about getting robots to work much more closely with humans in environments that are, are pretty extreme. So there's some, here's a couple of uh, concept ideas uh, from NASA about, it's called the Space Robotics Challenge, um, as opposed to the DARPA Robotics Challenge. It's about co-working uh, in scenarios like the, um, the space station and, and modules uh, doing things like dangerous um, spacewalks, so uh, essentially getting robots to uh, do things that astronauts currently have to do in zero gravity uh, and even go to the extent of what we call pre-deployment, uh, so unmanned robotic missions for pre-deployment. And this is um, in the words of NASA's uh, director of robotics, Rob Ambrose, uh, he, he kind of quotes an interesting um, statement that if Columbus were to redo his, um, his trip to, to try and find America, he would probably do it slightly differently today. He would potentially pre-deploy uh, large containers rather than carrying everything with him. Uh, but obviously, he would have a question of where is America 